Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited right now because I got plant mail, okay? I have two different plants from two separate places. They just both happened to show up today. I ordered one and it came so fast and then the other one took forever to come, but they're both here and I'm excited to open them up. It's late right now. I got my hot tea, my baby boy's asleep. I'm ready to just chill out open my plant mail i've been gone all day and i cannot wait any longer i'm ready to get into it so i'm thinking i'm gonna just point the camera down and tear into these boxes <laughs> hopefully the lighting's okay because i did not set up my ring light we're just going with grow light light in here for now i should have got my blade but ew my fingernails look disgusting i just picked off all of my gel polish and i hate how they feel right after you do that Okay, so this one came from Etsy. I can't remember the name of the shop, but I'll put it on the screen or link it. It's gonna say probably on here. And I'm so excited about this. You guys, I have not gotten any kind of plant mail or anything in a very long time. Um, it doesn't say the price on here or I would tell you. Okay, so it is, the shop's name is Plant That Shit, but it's, you know has a little star where the eye is <laughs> here is the little card so cute okay same that's the website i got it off of etsy okay and i will say good communication good prices they sent me an email and it shipped out so fast like i i don't even know i ordered this really quickly and it just shipped out and came so fast so I'm surprised by that. It came from Philadelphia. Okay, it's packaged pretty good. This is how I like to package mine, some extra stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. You guys, I'm so excited about this. I have not bought any plants in a really long time. Like, I feel like I went crazy before I had my little boy and was like big into plants then when i got pregnant i got more into like obviously getting things for my kid and doing his nursery and all the things then i got to a point where i just like felt like everybody's not doing good all my plants is failing what's the point in buying any but now i'm being like really selective of what i want this one i've been on the hunt for that one over there was like a spur of the moment I'll tell you all about that one when I get to it, but I'm so <laughs> excited about this plant right now. Got lots of flu. Okay, it's taped in, which looks good. Okay, it's still taped in. I'm so excited <gasps> about this one. Okay, maybe I should lay him down. Look, I got a Hoya Sarawak. <gasps> Look at these leaves. Are you kidding me? It is so cute. Okay, it's packaged really well. It's got the flu fall down up in here with the tape, masking tape. This is great. It feels pretty good. Like, I don't even know if it feels like it needs a drink. So cute. It's got this, like long little tendril look at the veins on these leaves is this not the most adorable thing ever i've been wanting one of these and it was a really good price etsy was doing some kind of like five dollar off sale and then the shop had a sale like it was a really a really good price for this plant because they can be kind of like i don't want to say they're like super pricey but if you don't hunt, they're a little bit pricey, and I am love Hoyas. I'm kind of getting into more Hoyas, I think. I want to, if I'm going to start buying plants, of course I love Philodendron too, but I want to like get some Hoyas. I just thrifted this cute little pot for 80 cents. Maybe it'll fit it. <gasps> Will it go down in here? It might. So cute. I am going to take him out of um, like the tape and everything off of him and put them over here where my other Hoyas are so happy. I'm probably just gonna use this like a little cover pot. 
but isn't it adorable i'm really happy and they had some other plants that i liked so i'll probably order from this shop again so cute this one came from a different place i've ordered from them a really long time ago and i think that plant died i was trying to think of what it was i think it was a burl marks it's been a really 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 long time but they do like I guess purges or plant drops or whatever it is and I get their emails so I've been in the plant buying mood right recently I've been stocking stuff on Etsy and eBay and all the places so I got this email that they were restocking and I got on there and I went through stuff and I found this plant and I thought it was an amazing price for this plant and it was very mature but i will say it took a little while to ship um if you don't care i mean it doesn't bother me like it really doesn't bother me but it did take a little while it said it could take up to two weeks to ship the plant out and it was like a little bit over two weeks which is it's fine but just keep that in mind if you guys are wanting to order that it can take a little bit so okay i paid 25 dollars for this plant and shipping was $11 so it was $36 total and I can't remember what that plant was but I'm pretty sure that was even less maybe than this um and like I said I bought this one a while ago and then on the receipt it does give me a coupon for 10% off so that's good <laughs> because it took so long I didn't feel bad getting that one because I paid for this one like weeks ago let's see if I can get them out of here Oh gosh. Oh, I hope it's okay. This one is might be a little sketch. This is a really good box too. Oh, I don't know. Because it was like a really mature plant. I don't want to mess up any leaves. Okay, there's bloop in here too. I hope it's okay. This one, I'm... Oh my gosh, it's huge. This one is so big. Is it yellowing? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. This is huge. I can't get it out. I want to show you guys. Okay. So I got the philodendron Bobsy which I will wash all, I'm going to wash all these leaves. Look at the size. Oh, it's new leaf is dying. It's shriveled up looking. It has a neem oil smell, so they must spray neem oil. <laughs> oh my gosh. The shapes of these leaves. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i mean a plant's gonna have you know it's gonna have some things it every plant isn't gonna be just like in perfect pristine condition and i really don't care because i've had thrips so it's like what else can you get past thrips but i am gonna spray this one down and clean it clean all its leaves really good because i don't know this the stems i'm not sure if they're supposed to be kind of spotted like that or not but i'm gonna put them in here under my grow light i'm just gonna take him to the sink and wash his leaves off for tonight but look at this thing he needs to be potted up it's kind of moist in there so i think they watered it before but yeah this new leaf looks like it's not gonna make it but it's really pretty it's so pretty i gotta find a pot for it pot it up and put it up here under my grow light but what do you guys think isn't it cute i really like it okay i really like it even if it has some imperfections and the thing i like about this website okay so i got this one from eden cps i'm not sure if i said that before or not the thing i like about it is that they show the exact plant so i saw this plant and knew like this is exactly what it looked like before i bought it um like the leaves and everything so yeah it's good like i think it looks good um 
I'm probably gonna keep I don't know I'm probably gonna keep this one inside I'm probably gonna keep it inside even though I think it comes from like an outside type greenhouse I'm just gonna clean it really good spray it down and hope it doesn't have anything it does have a little bit of a funky bit right up here like you can see right up in there so I want to make sure to spray it good and clean it really good but this thing is a beast I love it it's so freaking cute I want to put it over here on that I gotta rearrange some things um, I want to put it right over here under my good grow light and yeah hopefully it'll adjust well I mean it's huge like look at this here is the bottom side of the plant like look at how big that is so yeah it'll be good what do you guys think you'll have to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have a philodendron bobsy is that what it is i'm pretty sure that's what it was bob c c bob bobby c c bobby what is it it doesn't say yeah bob c <laughs> it says philodendron bob c c like c e e and s e e which i think is funny but yeah i really like it like i said they have good deals if you guys don't mind waiting a little bit for shipping like you cannot beat the price for the size of this plant so anyways i'm wanting to start adding a few more plants to my collection ones that i really like and really want so i'm probably going to get some more hoyas hopefully sometime soon um but yeah this scratches my little itch for a while and now i have to get them acclimated and potted up so it's probably what i need to do now but i'm obsessed like this is so good i'm gonna actually cut this out of here real quick um and make sure it's like down in the soil good and i'm not gonna repot this one i'm gonna leave it in this and just let it chill for right now I'm making a mess I don't care so I have an outside rug in here so I can just easily vacuum it up this leaf right here is hardened this one still feels soft so I'm assuming that one's pretty new since it feels a lot softer than these but ah, I'm so excited I'm so glad I have one let's see does it fit <gasps> you guys it basically fits perfect in here almost okay it's a little bit big is that not so cute oh i'm obsessed so cute i'm gonna need to give this one something to climb for sure because i want it to get really big mature leaves so i need to have something for it because it is just kind of like flopping out here but i gotta find something to put this in and i'm not gonna open this thing up until like look at it I gotta have a pretty big pot for this. I was trying to see if I had a pot somewhere I can steal from somebody. But I think it needs to be something pretty like substantial because it needs to support the weight of this giant thing. But I love it, okay? Successful, successful. And I think this was like a really good price. Like if you would've bought this, during like COVID or last year even, just recently plant prices have gone down. So I'm sure it would have been a whole lot more, especially since it's so mature. Like this is definitely a mother plant. It's got huge, huge roots in here. Anyways, we need to get them out, get them potted up. I'm gonna take them to the sink first, wash them off, spray them down. And then I'm gonna take a look at this. I can't even get them to sit on this thing. I'm gonna like hang them off the edge. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Any kind of care tips on either plant are always greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys have on your notification bell because I am very random and sporadic with my posting. I'm not consistent at all. I'm just, you know, a little bit here and there. So if you guys don't wanna miss any of my very infrequent uploads, Make sure to turn on your notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my uploads. I'll be seeing you guys again soon in another planty video. Bye. What am I gonna put you in? I gotta go outside. I gotta go outside and figure out what the heck I'm gonna put this plant in.
Thank you.